Jetspark versus Skyworks versus Venus, but the free version. What can we accomplish with the free version without going into the paid plan? So let's get started. Now, first off, I have Jetspark, and I want to show you the first interface of what you can expect from each one of these tools. Plus, I'm going to run the same prompt on the three tools so you can see what we can achieve with the free plan. So first off, we got Genspark. We got a nice looking interface with several tools available. Now on the left, we have a quick menu where we have the options to get started with some of the tools that they have available, which are practically the same ones that we are viewing here on the bottom. Now we can generate AI slides. We can do sheets. We can do documents. We can do coding. We can design logos, images, flyers, etc. We got Clip Genius. If you want to generate some videos, uh, be aware that some of these tools will pull a bunch of credits. So do consider that. The AI chat, which would be like your ChatGPT, Gemini, etc. AI image from Nano Banana from Google, AI video, AI meetings, and all agents. So we have all these available tools, including personalization. So if you wanted to behave in a specific way, you can do so here by personalizing this. You have tools available where you can connect to other tools, which is pretty cool. And then you have your adding documents, talk to it and setting off for prompt. Then we have Skywork again, nice looking interface, clean. And we have our menu on the left with our recent projects and our knowledge base. And then we have the tools that we have available to get started. You got your general one, which would be kind of like your just chat, chat GPT, et cetera. But if you add some prompts there, it will still generate other documents, sheets, if you ask it to. Then we got documents, we got slides, sheets, AI developer, if you're into coding, you got podcasts. And I think this feature really shines in my personal opinion. I, I love this product from Skywork. Then you have UBuy, which can analyze a video to give you more details that you might need. Now, over here, we got the option to kick off the web search. If you wanted to go into the web and search, we can add files and we can send this off. Then we have Manus. Manus is kind of like a black and gray. I, I don't like the style. It's not appealing to me, but be aware that some people might like the minimalistic look. So they don't, don't want flashy icons and colors. So they like this kind of style, but it's up to you if this is something that you like. So on the left, we got our history. In the center, we got the tools that we can start using. So we can generate images, slides, web pages, spreadsheets, visualization, video, audio, and a playbook. And over here, we got details to add from different locations. We got our adaptive agent and chat. So depending on what you want to accomplish with the prompt that you're going to use, then you have the option to connect apps. And these are the three available options. We got speed and quality. Now quality, you do have to upgrade. That's not going to be available on the free plan and you have the voice input. All right. So what I did now is I ran the same prompt for the three. Now this is a prompt that I use. So generate a professional market research report on the global electric vehicle market for 2025, which is something that's really happening right now. And people want to know more about it, about it. And it's going to be super ap appealing to someone who's going to read this document. So this is what I ran and this is what it kicked off for me. So did a document generation. It used a tool to create the visualizations for the uh, graphs, which I do like the look of them. They look really clean and the file changes, the notebook, just telling you what it did. Okay. And then it used a tool for the coding to generate the document. Then it used another tool for the doc view. And that's what we're viewing here on the right. And it just gave me a sum up the details available here. So for the document, right? I can go ahead and continue the chat. I can go ahead and add files, talk to it and continue. But this is the output that I got for GenSpark. So in this case, I have the option to manipulate the document here by changing the details. And then I have the actual document. So global electric vehicle market report in 2025. So we got an executive summary for this, some graphs here for the market size and the forecast. We can view the global market overview, some nice details key players in the market chart and analysts, market dynamics, and just a lot of good details that would be interesting to really pause this and compare these with one with another. Now I'm going to tell you my favorite in the, in the end, but this is what I got with the output. Remember I am on the free version on all these three. All right. So that's what I got. Then we're going to jump into Skywork. So Skywork again, we got this document. Let me go up here. Global Electric Vehicle Market 2025, a comprehensive report. And let me show you what it did. Now, first off, I'm going to tell you that it 
it took longer to generate the actual document because I think it actually did more. So for example, in the beginning, I got started with same prompt, okay, no changes at all. Skyward kicks in and then it asked me this. So I can actually make some changes before I continue. So it's going to like think in advance and give me options that, that might be the route that I want to take. So instead of just going out there with their own like idea, with the AI idea, it gives you some options. So you got the first report title and then you got suggestions for title one, two, and three, which it's not highlighted anymore because it, it already ran this. Then it a report length. Do I want it concise or detailed? And then which aspects would you like to emphasize in the report? And I can select these. Then AI auto planning. And then again, I can select these and it just gives me options before it actually goes into the research and create the report, right? Then there's the to-do list, which is telling me things that this is going to do, like Skywork is going to do this. And then I can add more to the to-do list. So if I know it missed something, I can go ahead and add it. And then it proceeds. I mean, it jumps into the MCP tool. It does some search, search web. It go ahead and browse, analyzes images, search prep. And I mean, it did a whole lot of things with a whole bunch of sources before generating the document. Let's go ahead and continue, continue. I mean, it did a whole bunch of things. And then I got the actual document. So that document is the one that we are viewing here on the right. So this document is right here. So here's the details, table of content, market size and forecast, global electric vehicle. We got a graph here. We got some more details. Here we go. Key players on the market shares. So these are like the main ones for the electric vehicles. And we're going to continue the growth drivers, uh, major risk and challenges. There we go. Region breakdown, North America, Europe, uh, Asia. And we got the details here for the references. So where did it actually get the details? I mean, are you making this up? Are you just thinking out there or did you actually research and tell me what you did? So in this case, it let me know where the references are. Plus, I can keep this in the document to highlight this where it actually got the details to give them credit if needed. Then I have the option to turn off sources or keep it on. I can go ahead and view all the sources for this. So here we go. I got every single source that it used here, which was, which in this case was 63 sources that it actually used to generate my comprehensive document right here. Plus, I have this table of content here where I can just go ahead and click on it and go through the sections that I want to read. So it generated that for me. Then I have the option to go ahead and preview, or I can go ahead and preview the code for this, which I can go ahead and copy this in case I want to modify it, maximize it, whatever I want to do. Plus, I also have the option to edit. So I have the option for editing options here. And again, I can go ahead and highlight, change text, AI polish, and I got more details here. So that's what I was able to generate with Skywork. And then we have menus. Um, unfortunately, I have some really bad news to tell you. Manus has a zero credit account for the free plan. So I'm not able to generate anything. So I added the same prompt, but I don't get any credits. So that pretty much really sucks. And Manus is out of the game. I can use the chat feature for pretty much basic things. But if I want to use the adaptive or something like that, it won't work. I'll have to use something really simple like the chat. And let's go ahead and run this right now. Here we go. Let's go ahead and send this off and this will work, but it's not going to work with the advanced features that we're going to get with the other ones. So if we want to generate a document that unfortunately won't be available on the free plan on Manus. So you're going to get a chat type look for the details, which I think is not appealing because like something like this, you can go ahead and use a bunch of tools that will work the same way as this. So I'm not going to get advanced features for generate a document to regenerate a document like I would with GenSpark or with Skywork. Now, I told you I was going to tell you my top pick and for this with the details that it generated for me, it's going to be Skywork. In this case, it has way more features. You're going to get more flexibility on the free plan. So basically, you're going to get all the available features on the free and the paid plan, but with the limitation of the credits. Just like a few things are going to be limited, but you can really get really juice this out on the free plan, something that JetSpark will limit you on the free plan. So check this out. I'll be leaving the link for all these three in case you want to sign up. But guess what? I managed to grab an extra discount for you guys with Skyworks. So if you use my code master34, you're going to grab a 30% discount. You can also use the link in the description and you'll also get that discount. 
be aware that this is only limited to the first 34 subscribers for these plans. So definitely grab your spot right now. And that's a wrap for this versus video.